I grew up with a huge passion for music. It was a passion that led Mandy Harvey to Colorado State University to pursue a degree in vocal music education. And I was always hard of hearing, I was always introverted and very shy, and I found music as my way to express myself. But Mandy has Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, and she lost her hearing at 18. And so I kind of lost myself in that for a while, but started taking ASL classes, got involved with the deaf community, started learning a new way to communicate, and that really encouraged me to start saying yes to things. And so figuring out how to do music again without being able to hear myself was a struggle, but it was incredible. Technology assists Mandy to feel the instruments as she performs. She uses self-tuners to rehearse and a special vest that sends vibrations from the orchestra to her body during performances. I used to use a, a marker and then find where the vibration was the strongest. It's like, okay, C is right here. No matter the challenge, Mandy has found a way to overcome it, to follow her heart, which is full of music. One of the last big memories I had in college when I was still a music major was performing with a symphony and because I had already lost my hearing at that point and the distance from everything, I couldn't feel the music and I just stood there and I mouthed watermelon, 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 watermelon. So the thing that's beautiful about this moment is not only do I get to be surrounded by like the warmth and, and the love of people from Louisiana, but I also get to replace a negative memory with a beautiful one. Mandy says she hopes to spread a message of positivity and lift others up to say yes and follow their hearts. In Monroe, Taylor Yakowenko for KNOE 8 News.